What next? We have an alveolar approximant. This is the R sound in American English, like right, run, R, etc. Then we have a palatal approximant, which is voiced. This is pronounced, this is, this is a semi-vowel. It's pronounced, for example, when you say you, it's the E before the U. You. You. What are you doing? What next? Uh, there are no trills in, uh, in American English. Then we have an alveolar tap. But let's leave that for later. And I'm sorry, let me draw parentheses around this one. And let me also draw parentheses around the glottal stop. I don't want a full circle around there because it's not really a sound in and of itself that is recognized. It's more a variant of another sound and we'll see when I explain and you'll see when I explain it in the end. <coughs> All right. Then we're almost done. We have a la we don't have lateral fricatives in English and we have a lateral approximant. which is uh which is uh, for example on the word lake. Sometimes uh, this this uh, this sound is pronounced again with the tip of the tongue against the ridges of the palate. Ooh, and very often in in American English, the back of the tongue is also pushed back so that the sound is velarized. It sounds more like like it's pronounced in the back of the mouth. So you're gonna say laugh and lake and like and so on. This is a very distinctive uh, quality of this sound in American English which is immediately picked up uh, as a, a sign of, a, of an American accent in other languages. For example, Spanish. Okay, so I believe, let me check my notes, I believe I've gone through all Oh, we are actually missing a couple. And we're going to need to draw them because they're not on the chart. Let's get rid of this lateral fricative field and write down here. Let me get and write down. Excuse my very poor penmanship here and write down affricate. An affricate, what is an affricate consonant? An affricate consonant is basically a doubly articulated consonant. Basically, it's a plosive like followed immediately by a fricative. So, if you join and sh, suddenly you have ch like in choose or change. So let's get rid of the alveolar lateral fricatives and draw the sound. And we're going to need the symbol for t and the symbol for sh. So let me draw it. We have the t like in lowercase and then ch. And then we have the voiced equivalent. So let for that we use the symbol for d and the symbol for j. So let me draw a big red circle around those to show that these are proper sounds in American English. For example, ch like change and d like judge or jet, etc. And then we would need to add 
a velar approximant, a voiced velar approximant, which is also labialized. That is, it's pronounced. It's like a double articulation. You, it's it's uh, a, it, your tongue uh, gets near the the velum, the back of of the palate, and also your lower lip does a kind of a gesture. This is the sound in the. Let me draw it. Uh, to draw it, we use a an, a lowercase. W. Let me draw a circle around it. Okay. This is uh, wuh. this is the first sound in the word what, for example, or which, or whisk.